Pinto Brock here to tell you a nice story about Wrong Way Corrigan. He was born in 1907 and he was nicknamed Wrong Way after a flight from New York that was supposed to be to Long Beach but ended up in Ireland. Now, some of the rumors say it wasn't by accident. Now, he changed his name to Douglas Corrigan when he turned of age of 18. I don't know if that was after Douglas Aircraft or he had an affiliation somewhere else, but he actually was one of Charles Lindbergh's mechanics. And of all things, when Charles Lindbergh left California, Douglas actually pulled the chocks out from under the aircraft, uh, which then he then flew to New York and then of course his famous flight across the ocean. Now that really spurned uh, Douglas and he really wanted to imitate that and do that on his own. Now Charles had lots of money and lots of backers. Uh, Douglas Corrigan it was all him. He had nothing. He had his own plane. He did his own modifications. Every time he tried to get it approved by the government for a permit to fly overseas, they said no. And after so many times of that, they actually decided his plane wasn't even flyable anymore, wasn't safe. He did so many mods to it to get it ready for this transatlantic flight. Eventually, they just declared it unsafe. Okay, it was a foggy morning and he was supposed to fly to Long Beach in California from New York where he was at. Now he just did some modifications and repairs to his plane but he still had a fuel leak. It was pretty substantial but he didn't want to stay at the airport any longer. Folks were getting suspicious and as they said he was not supposed to be flying his plane. So he gassed it up, got it full of fuel, he asked the uh, surveyor at the airport what runway and they told him do not fly west fly east to take off and then turn and go well he took off to the east and kept on going all the way to Ireland and he said it was so cloudy and the visibility was bad and he just couldn't see and it wasn't until the 26th hour of his 28 hour flight supposedly that's when he found out he went the wrong way so that's why he got the nickname wrong way and you know you, you gotta love his uh oof and stamina he he never ever admitted that he did that on purpose uh, he died in 1995 just about 90 years old it was about what 88 87 88 and never admitted to it so we're going to celebrate it today with our bento. We have a little airplane here made out of turkey that we cut out and some of the compass symbols and we have the east and west backwards. Actually, I even have the E backwards flip because it's wrong way. Now, this is my friend Alma. She dressed up in her flight attendant's costume tonight. And Alma's wearing some lovely jewelry tonight. Handmade, not by Alma. What do I wish? I wish you made it too, but it is made here in this house. And here we have some bracelets with some fancy stones. I don't know what this one is, sorry for that. Uh, and this is a green one with some dragonflies. And this is Trees of Life, and this is a blue one. Now, I'm not the expert in these. They will be available at bentobrock.com. Uh, not right now, but very soon. But you can email us at bentobrock, and that's with the E, at gmail.com. And we'll get you going on those and let you know what we have. We're starting this up. That's very exciting, all handmade here. Also a lot of lava stone necklaces and bracelets that you can uh, have them soak up in some essential oils. And then when they dry up, they just smell wonderful. So you would be able to go ahead and just put them whatever oils you want and get whatever fragrance you want. So let's go ahead and learn how we make this. This is a wonderful bento. It's a nice salad. It's just delish. So let's go ahead and see how we did this. We are going to plate up our bento. 
and put it in this single serving container. It's got a nice little lid so it travels well and won't leak. I have placed the cutting board down next to our container and now I'm going to cut up our lettuce. Now I like to use this ceramic knife. It's got its sheath on it for safety. Uh, I like these because when you chop the lettuce it doesn't help the lettuce form uh, brown spots where the where the cuts are. Metal knives will react with the cell walls being broken down and that will help the lettuce brown a little faster and it'll get it a little darker at those cuts. So when you use a ceramic knife there's no metal reaction with the cells. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up. Actually I'm going to now, I know I have my hands backwards but I want you to see I'm just going to lightly cut on the lettuce here to make thin strips. All right, I'm going to continue that until I fill up my pan. Okay, next I'm going to use some cucumber. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the end and peel it about halfway down and then cut some slices. I think we all know how to peel a cucumber. So I'm going to go ahead and save you and myself the trouble and not show that on camera. Okay, we have our cucumber ready to go. I'm just going to cut off a little slice at the end and that's going to be our sun uh, within our bento here. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and then I'm going to do a little trick. My wife's not a big fan of these seeds in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a spoon and I'm just going to scoop those out and then I'll have nice long planks that I'll cut up into little chunks, little kind of half moons that I'll save to the end. Unfortunately those won't look as perfect in the bento but I'll wait till we get to the very end, take some photos and then I'll go ahead and line the outside of our bento box with those. Okay again I just scooped out the seeds in the center of these cucumbers into the garbage can and then what I'm going to do is cut them into little strips I'm going to skip the half moons and just go with these strips and then I like to turn them 90 degrees, stack them up a little bit, and then make little cubes out of them. I find those to be a little more enjoyable for her to have in her lunch and then I'll go ahead and do that same thing to this other piece. And this I can just go ahead and wrap in a paper towel and put in a Ziploc bag and put that away for another day. That'll keep it nice and fresh. Okay, while we are away, I just had a new wonderful idea. Now that we have our little cucumbers diced up, I have a small bowl. I'm going to go ahead and put those in. Get them all in there. There we are. Okay, after we have our cucumbers in the bowl, say just a little bit of salt. I love this uh, little salt grinder. It's battery operated, hands free. Love that. And I also have two tablespoons, a little hard to see, but two tablespoons of just plain white vinegar. I'm going to go ahead, put that in here. Give that just a little shake. And then as I'm preparing the rest of the bento. I'm just going to let those sit and actually just pickle a little bit. It'll add a nice little tartness which would be wonderful with this bento. Okay, the vinegar will add just a little tartness to the salad as the cucumber pieces almost become pickleized. They won't be very strong as it's not going to be sitting very long but just while we prepare the rest of our salad. That way they'll get just a nice little extra flavor boost. And as you can see we wrapped up our cucumber and that's going in the fridge. Here's a fun little bit. I have some raw broccoli. I can just kind of cut it up a little bit. Let's cut some of that base off. That's my favorite part. Mmm. 
Mmm. That is good. Still nice and fresh. Mmm. Okay. And then what I like to do is take some of uh, the broccoli, put it down in the bottom in the corners. I'm not going to put any in the middle, as you'll see why in just a few moments, but I like to lay it out here. And, ah, another one for the chef. And there we are. Nice little trees. Okay, next I'm going to make some directional signals. Uh, kind of like we were using a compass, so I have these mini alphabet cutters. Open that up. You can see I got the full alphabet and I have some sliced cheese. So I'm going to go and pull this off camera. Sorry about that. I'm going to pull out a piece of cheddar. Come on, fingers. There we are. Perfect, perfect. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and make a little compass. Now realize this is turned 90 degrees as a server, but that way I can have it all on the camera here. So let's start with north. Let me find the N. Here it is. And I like to place that in. And then we'll pull that off. Leave a nice little cut. So you can see it sticks into the cutter a little bit. So I have this chopstick and just lightly tap, tappy, 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 so it doesn't break. There we go. And now we'll have north. Okay. We'll put that one away. Clean that up. And then next is south. I will need the tool to pull them out of the container here. And then let's make a cut. Again, you use any kind of cheese you would like, and actually even use some lunch meat, which we're going to use in just a few moments when we add our airplane, and we lightly pop out the S. So again, then we'll put that in for south. And I think you can see where this is going. And then next, is E for East. Press that in. Carefully pop that out. Again, there it is. Just lightly tap. Sorry if you can't really see that, but I think you get the idea. And we'll finish off with West. That might be the M. You know what? I think that's M. Let's put that back. Now, well, either one could be M or W, but I think this one looks a little better. Again, careful. Pull it out. Pop it out. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Let's put that as W right over the trees and east right over here and you know what just to be funny because this was wrong ways flight i'm going to go ahead and switch these i'm actually going to put the e backwards and that's going to be on purpose for fun if he's going to be the wrong way then we can make our bento look the wrong way so let's go ahead and switch out this cheese for some lunch meat, give me just a second to clean this up. Now we have some some sliced turkey here. I know this might be slightly off camera. I apologize, but I'm just going to pull out a slice of turkey. I'm pretty sure we don't worry about that on camera. And let's take a look. And our mold will fit perfectly. So I have a mold of an airplane, as you can see. Here's the tricky part. You have to press down and just slightly wiggle. 
to cut through the meat. It's a little tougher than the cheese. So you're trying not to tear it. So let's take a look. So let's go ahead and pull the meat off around it. Make sure, as you can see, it's caught here a little bit. There we are. And it's big enough I can put my finger in to pop it out. Uh, there we are. And there's the airplane. And let's decorate that just slightly. And I'm going to go ahead and let the dogs have a little side treat here. I'll be right back. Okay, one of my favorite items to decorate with is some black sesame seeds. They're great for eyes uh, when you make little animals and things like that. So I like just to, whoops, there's a whole bunch of them came out. That's okay. We only need a couple here. And it's a little tedious, but I like to put them on, you know, and almost make a little face out of it. Let's give that a little nose. A little smiling looking there. And, well, I took out a lot of extra, so I'll do something else with those toss them or maybe sprinkle them just haphazardly. That's what we'll do inside there so we don't waste them. All right. And that's the best part of this bento. So let's go back and show it to Ama. And then at the end, we'll sprinkle a little extra items, some tomatoes, uh, put those cucumbers on, a little more lunch meat. That'll make it a little less fun looking, but we definitely want to take some pictures of it uh, while it's looking pretty and it's in its best state. So let's go see Yama. Okay, so here we have our finished bento. It's a nice salad and we will be adding in some extra items. We'll be adding in those cucumbers that we pickled slightly and also some tomatoes. Plus we'll sprinkle on some extra cheese. Now right here, I do have some ranch dressing in a lovely little bear container. And Ama wanted an addition. I didn't really mention that the main reason of being Irish going to Ireland was that Wrongway Kerrigan was Irish. I don't know if that was really important for him to go to Ireland, but it seemed like that was his plan. So we have some Irish cream. It's one of Ama's favorite, so we added it in. I love it. I know you love it. And we also have some special necklaces that somehow she, she just drug out. I don't know where she gets these, but we got them for sale. We got them ready. She has a lovely little bracelet here. This one's a multi-string little wire. And also, this is one of the lava ones. They come in many colors, and for some reason, she wanted to break out her Florida Gator colors. You can say it's anything you want, but, you know... Go Gators! Uh, we are here in Florida, and that stuff's popular. Not a fan, but Alma is. Go Gators! Yep, go Gators. So thank you for watching. This is Bento Brock. Please subscribe. Really helps us. And like if you enjoyed this video. And leave a comment down below. It'll definitely uh, help the conversation. Talk about your favorite Bento, or if you ever heard the story of Wrong Way Kerrigan. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, smile, and keep bentoing. Alma has some lovely, luckily, lovely? What is that? What do you got, Alma? Lonely. Lovely, okay. So Alma has some lovely jewelry that she made. Well, she didn't, but it is homemade in the house here. So she does have this pretty necklace. Well, it's not a necklace, so why am I doing this? Alma has some lovely jewelry handmade here in the house. Alma didn't make it, but it's homemade here. You can get them on bentobrock.com. The website's not up and running for that right now. The blog is. But the jewelry will be on sale very soon. And you can email me at bentobrock.com at gmail.com. No, 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 I guess you can't do that. Hold on. 
Alma has some lovely jewelry, handmade. Not by Alma. I wish. Yes, I wish you made it too. Dogs. Okay, we have our cucumber ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going, I don't know what that was. Okay, while we are away, I just had a new wonderful idea. Now that we have our little cucumbers diced up, I have a small bowl. I'm going to go ahead and put those in. Get them all in there. There we are. Sorry for that. Now we do have this little bear container full of ranch dressing. That, that's loved. And Ama decided she wanted a little something special. Since we didn't really talk about uh, that wrong, wrong what, what, 